Hi, I'm Magnus Ritby. I am a professor of physics at TCU, and uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the physics of ballet. So from a physicist's perspective, ballet is a fight between a variety of forces. Uh, dancers exert forces against the floor to jump and to spin, and they make use of friction against the floor, constantly fighting the force of gravity. So this dancer is performing a number of ways. So a force applied through the center of gravity of a body will result in a straight line motion, whereas a force applied off-center will, will cause a rotation. We call such a force a torque. It's a tricky word, but it sounds good. Newton would have said that spinning motion will continue unless a torque is applied to stop it. In this clip, we show a dancer continuously applying a torque to keep her motion going. And each time as she faces the audience, she slows down by extending her leg and thereby decreasing her rate of rotation, while her other foot creates a torque against the floor in order to keep her rotation going constantly working with the friction against the floor to create a spin. 